Welcome to Product One's YouTube series. Today we are going to be looking at Creo Simulation Live. So uh, a while back, PDC partnered with uh, Ansys, uh, the world's leading simulation experts, and that was to combine uh, Ansys capability and integrate that inside Creo Parametric. And the combination between the one of the most powerful 3D design solutions and the world's leading uh, simulation solutions was the Creo Simulation Live, where you could, in the design environment, uh, see what will be the impact of your changes to your design, looking at stresses and so forth. So we had the ability to do Creo Simulation Live for structural, thermal, and modal. Now what PDC introduced in Creo 7 is the power to do fluid simulation studies, all right? So this is what we currently have. So if you look here, I'm having a, a cylinder, a plunger, and a yellow body there. You will realize that I've utilized the multi-body design. If you uh, remember from the previous uh, discussions, multi-body design, you can design within one component, a series of bodies, and you can have something like this. As you can see, I've utilized the Boolean operation to remove where the fluid is going to, to be. However, I've retained the yellow component because in, in respect, this is all that I need to run my fluid analysis. You'll see that in a second. However, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just leave it like that, all right? So what I have here, uh, if I can just show you a couple of things, is a design where if I take away the plunger, it shows as if like the plunger is actually closed. You will see the significance of this in a second. So the power now of PDC Creo 7.0 is that I can now go into Creo Simulation Live and select fluid simulation studies all right so in this particular environment i can now specify my fluid domain and the reason why i had the yellow component as my fluid body is because now i can select it as such all right after me, uh, defining my fluid domain i can specify the material i will just choose water for now i could have chosen other uh, materials as well. Now, the first thing that I'm going to have to do, apart from specifying the material, is to specify the inlet speed. So I will choose the surface here and the direction of my flow. And you will be familiar with this interface because that's what PDC tends to do, maintain a certain level of consistency throughout the applications and extensions as well. So now that I've defined my inlet velocity, I'm going to specify the pressure here. And that's all that I need for this analysis. When I run this particular analysis, I instantaneously get to see the results. And that's the power of Creo Simulation Live. Okay. In the previous uh, video where I showed Creo Simulation Live for structural, I specify uh, what you need in terms of the graphics card to run something like this. Okay, you need a CUDA enabled graphics card or the ones that PDC uh, regard as certified. If you need further info, please send us an email. All right, now that I've actually gotten these results, I can do a couple of things. I can have a look at these results in the form of a streamline. I can modify the streamline and say, look, I want to reduce the count, I want to increase it. The width of the streamlines is too big, so let me make it smaller. I can modify that and, and modify it according to my needs. Apart from streamlines, I can also do particles. Also with the particles, I can modify them in terms of how they look. I can specify the size of these if I want to do that. Okay, I can specify the cut plane. 
where I showcase the cross section and this is important because I want to showcase what happens if I happen to move this plunger over here. Before I do that, I will showcase this. This is now the flow direction. As you can see, the plunger is in a particular position. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move that plunger, specify a value for this, and immediately when I move this, I institute that change, you get to see what happens to the flow. I get the live feedback of my changes in this particular environment. You can see now there's flow of liquid that goes through due to the fact that this is actually opened now. All right. So there's a couple of other things that you can do. And the whole aspect of it, I think maybe let's showcase it in terms of particles. I can do some radical changes. I can even modify the sketch and move things around. So for an example, I can make this to be a lot smaller or even increase maybe here. Immediately when I institute this particular change, you get to see the impact of that to the flow. Of course, including the direction. All right. That is it uh, for Creo Simulation Live for Fluid. And please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave comments at the bottom. Until next time, take care.